Hey guys, my name is Tamasha Bear, and I have finally found a solution to all your problems. You know, whether the games were lagging for your computer, and look at it. On the left, we have a very laggy gameplay from the same machine, and after tweaking things up, it, it was you know, lag free. So, before we go ahead, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified for new videos every day. Before we begin, we're doing a massive giveaway for every single one of you out there so we're gonna give you guys the season 6 battle pass which will be like 2800 v bucks so 2800 v bucks you would give you like a free skin uh even if you want to like you know tear your uh, battle pass up or if you're gonna get a new battle pass go ahead guys 2800 v bucks so comment down everything which is mentioned on the screen right now because we're gonna pick up our winners are in a coming live stream where we're gonna use a randomizer comment picker website to choose a random winner so yeah go ahead guys smash that subscribe button guys and turn on the notification bell so for this video we have a like goal of 200 likes so with that being said go ahead and smash the like button so before we go any further i'd like to mention uh, like the the footage that you see to your left is from the same computer uh which is coming on to the right one so there's a drastic difference as you can see that there's the game is lagging that you know facing lag you know, has definitely been a problem for people playing Fortnite. And if you can see two to your left, it's a very smooth game, okay? It's not as smooth, but it's pretty smooth and it's pretty playable, okay? So, let me put it out there, okay? So, how can I help you guys out? So, in a few videos, we have talked about the certain tips and, you know, I was so happy to see your comments on Instagram and as well as on my Twitter that it helped you guys out. And I was so happy knowing that I was able to help. Uh, before we start, this video does not is not going to consist of any third-party mods or configuration files, which will get you banned in Fortnite. It's all, you know, simple tweakings that you can put on your computer that you have never, you know, thought of doing it for yourself. Okay. So a few things we have talked about heating and how to fix that. Okay. Beat any computer. Doesn't matter if you're not good with computers. We help you out from the very basic. You in this channel, you don't have to be. Uh, you don't have to act as if like you know you know everything about the computer if you don't know about it we are out there helping you guys out so you're not never left alone because it's it's a game and everyone should have the equal rights to play and enjoy the game right i mean that's that's what i believe you know equality so uh to, to begin with today uh, i'll be mostly be talking about like you know uh, drivers and you know like about like in you know, a physical components and on how that can help you out for sure so now the first thing that i'm going to tell you is this will be the beginning of the video where I'll be talking about like in some particular things, okay? So to start off with, the first thing that I'm going to tell you, so if you have your cabinet, so if you guys can see like the cabinet is normal to my to my left one and to my right one, it's open. So that means like the side of the cabinet, which is the motherboard is not on, are the sides. If you can keep it open, like the ventilation would be much higher. Ad adding fans will help you out your, you know, with your cooling. Okay, it, it doesn't have to be liquid cooling. Fan does a really exceptional job. I'm personally myself use a fan like a normal CPU cabinet fan. I don't even have a coolant or a cooler, whatever you call it, for my processor or in any peripherals in my computer. I'm, I'm on, a, on a budget, okay? So I hope you guys are understanding the situation. So I'm, I'm just like you guys, you know, trying to like, make things work with whatever I have, just trying to enjoy the game with, with my friends. So uh, the most important thing is to uh, take a small piece of your butt and I need to, I want, want you guys to buy a small um, brush, the, the ones that you paint with, and you start cleaning your cabinet, clean all the pores. And the most important thing I'm going to tell you, like the, the CPU fan that you have with yourself, you need to get the brush inside and need to clean that CPU cooler okay the fan which is moving on top of the processor that's the most important thing okay if you don't have any any if you don't know where you can find screwdrivers or anything i would ask you guys to seek guidance of your parents or any adult who can help you out in opening the cabin and making sure the electricity and everything is turned off uh so Cleaning up the dust is the most important thing, you know. So the same thing goes with PlayStation users, Xbox, or whatever that might be. Like, you know, people really ignore like the dust which collects over the period of months, and when the problem comes, it's a severe problem because there were like you know no pores, you know, to give proper ventilation to your machine. Now, the second thing that I'm going to talk about in this video is especially drivers. Okay drivers so drivers is a, a software which helps you run the hardware on your operating system either be on uh, windows 7 32 bit 64 bit windows 10 32 64 windows 8 doesn't matter whatever that might be 
all the all the operating systems need uh, a, a driver okay there be like a sound driver or a display driver graphics card driver whatever that might be okay so now let me tell you something okay that there are certain times you know where you format your computer and you think like okay there were like probably junk files which were there which cleaned that up and it's still not helping so uh, if you guys are having a computer I would want you to go to task ma no, not task manager device manager and over there I want you guys to see if the def default graphics driver are installed or not so whenever you're like you know installing drivers in your computer so use first go ahead and this is something that you need to make sure you need to go ahead and install the chipset driver first the default graphics driver which is there on your motherboard you need to install that first there will be probably be a CD and if not there's not a CD you can go to the website of that certain motherboard that you're using and there will be a feature on how you can see like if there are any like missing drivers there for your motherboard it can be either a gigabyte or any motherboard which is out there okay MSI whatever that might be go to the website check all the drivers if you have installed them just talking about the display drivers because that's the most important thing that you need to when you're playing a game so make sure you have installed the chipset drivers and if that's installed make sure like the drivers are all up to date so the game engines and when they make the games they are optimized for like the recent software so if you're running on an older software it's probably gonna cause latency or any issues with the game maybe crashes or whatever that might be okay so we are out here to fix everything for you guys so now talking about like after you're done in done installing the default uh, VGA or graphics driver for your computer you, then you should go on and installing the the normal Nvidia or AMD drivers the graphics card that you have okay that's the most important thing if you don't have a CD for that you can go to the Nvidia website MSI or AMD website and you can go over there and you can download the certain specific, uh, you know, GPU drivers, which means the graphical processing unit, which is like the, uh, this, which is a graphic card that you have. So keeping the drivers up to date is super important. Third thing, sound card drivers. Do, do ensure, like you know, you have proper sound card because you're telling, because now you're telling me, okay? I'm probably thinking of this. Like I don't have any problem with the sound. Like what is he talking about? Well, if there's a mismatch of the audio drivers. If there's like you know, uh, not proper, no proper things in the game, like not mismatching things, your game might start crashing. So those are the certain topics that I wanted to cover specifically uh, through this video. Now. And the other thing that I'm going to talk about is, uh, you know, using another software, okay, another software which is going to help you out with your computer and eventually it will help you out in processing your game. The most important thing, just keep the driver where you have uh, Windows installed, like, completely free. Don't over garbage, o okay, like, like the whole uh, disk where your Windows is installed. The next thing that I'm going to talk to you about, not overcrowding the desktop okay if you, if you want like many icons in the desktop no no a big no right there you need to have like l the least amount of icons on the desktop the, the more the icons the more the CPU has to render you know for that particular time because most of the times that your desktop will always be there so yeah uh, limited options like you have like very limited options you know mo more available space in C drive second one less icons you know on your desktop third thing that I'm gonna tell you if you're running on Windows 7 Windows 10 whatever that might be if you're using a very uh, what do you call it arrow like a modern tone a, a vibe the theme to your computer turn it down to classic I know it will look bad but it's f for your own good your graphics processing unit won't have to like render much as compared to the classical ones which are which are available in Windows XP or probably like in, somewhere in between Vista or something so if you like switch switch the theme back to classic, your graphic processing unit it doesn't have to render that much as compared, uh, you know, to the Arrow themes which is available in Windows 10 and uh, Windows 7. Third thing that I'm going to tell you is that all these recordings are done by the NVIDIA drivers, okay, or probably OBS drivers. So if you're using Fraps or anything, the games will start lagging. So the frames are like the game is a little bit better when I'm not recording it for you guys. So it would still lag for me. So I'm just recording it. So like a few of the frames might just drop, okay? Because of the computer, like you know, I'm literally putting pressure on the GPU and as well as the CPU while I'm recording the footage for you guys. So, uh, yeah, there's always a difference between both the clips, but you know, the difference is always the same. On the left, we have a very laggy one. On the right one, we have the improved version. So the certain things are listed literally on your screen, so you can try that out for sure. 
or talk about thermal paste and everything in this video. Oh, not in this video, in the other one. In this video, we have to talk about certain topics, which is definitely going to help you out for sure. And in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about like in a more you know, small, intricate things that is definitely going to help you out with improving your Fortnite Season 6 game, okay? Small crucial things that completely goes ignored. I know <laughs> with everyone, people expect like to use third party, you know, uh, configuration files which might get you banned in Fortnite, and we don't promote any of those things over here. We're just out here just giving you guys advices and tips on how you can better, uh, you know, your graphics and your PC, which will be totally optimized for Fortnite. My name is Tamash Bear, and I'm gonna see you guys soon on my next video. Goodbye and have a great day in Fortnite. And uh, yeah, also check out the videos which are appearing on the screen right now.